so let's try something a little different. Well, it's something a bit different here. Made by the same company as uh, the lures I was using a second ago. They're sort of a tube worm. Uh, I like tube baits. Not my favourite baits. But, uh, I like stick baits. And I like tube baits. So this is sort of a combination of the two. I'll show you a little trick here. Though. <clears throat> I want it to snag even less my lure, so I'm going to thread in even further this time and pull out and then it will cover the knot and the hook of the lure and what that's going to do is protect your knot straight off the back it's also this bit here plastic is going to bounce off the bottom hole and give you a bit more action and uh, let's see what this truce tail thing does I'm sure it'll work, it's just whether the fish are on today. <sighs> there, so we had a snag, we lost the gear, we pulled out. Within two minutes we're fishing again. So let's try out in a bit clearer water. It is a bit lively here today. I'm not full of confidence at the moment, I must admit. Uh, I do find fish sit at your feet a bit when it's like this. A bit of a side wind, so I'm controlling that by putting the rod tip down. I do prefer to have it at 45 degrees because you can it gives you a head start on a fish that's trying to dive back into a snag. Uh, I'll try and fish alongside that snag we just lost our gear in, not over the top of it. So if you're losing gear at a particular spot, try moving and changing the angle of your retrieve. Uh, you might then be able to move it alongside a snag rather than across the top of it and uh, maybe not lose as much gear but still present your lure to the fish because the fish will be around the uh, structure as always There's one. Oh, right under my feet. Oh, that's a nice fish. Jesus. Oh, it's a seal. <laughs> well, that would have been some catch, wouldn't it? <laughs> Jesus, what? And whether that seal went for a fish I had, I like the look of the thing I was moving down, but it's a good job I've got a barber soap because that bugger's gone. I don't know whether you could see that on film. Hopefully you could because Christ almighty, that, that was that was a massive seal. That was a big seal as well. It was a seal. <laughs> on a spinning rod, eh? That was never gonna happen. Well we know seals to take them, so I'm sure the rats will. Right under my feet, that's unbelievable. If that wasn't a seal, that's the biggest fish I've ever hooked. Christ, those lures must be <laughs> I hope that you could see some of that on film. It was just a big brown shape just moving away. I mean, I will post that. Whatever, whether you can see it or not, because you'll just see the rod bent like hell. Christ, I thought I had the biggest rat going there. I was getting really excited. But well, obviously the, uh, those lures really show up! Ha! Well, the old FG knock can handle that, not even the FG knock. We're going to land that. <laughs> 